Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Timid Rats. And this is Darkstar. And we will do we will be doing a co-cast on this uh, CVZ here on Metalopolis. Uh, for Castcraft AU for the tournament and uh, Pool C, I believe. So uh, we'll just go ahead and introduce our players. This is game one. We have another bean in the south position as the uh, Hink Zerg. And uh, up in the northern position, we have Carl Gustav as the purple Zerg. That's right, it's going to be a ZVZ on Metalopolis. So in Zerg vs Zerg, there are two major strategies. The first is uh, Lings and Bane Lings, or you could do a Roach Focus. Nowadays, more people do a Roach Focus because it's just uh, far more powerful. You give up the early aggression option with the Lings, but um, you just mass more and more Roaches. And if you can get a quick little plus one, plus one, it usually wins the game straight away. Yeah, I guess uh, on a small map like this as well, the Roaches would uh, come in handy too, uh, especially with these. Uh, up high positions that you start on. Um, I'd like to see another bean do his normal build though and uh, go for the fast expand. I think he does that a lot better than when he just goes straight um, into a, a speedlings. Carl Gustav though, I haven't seen much of, um, but uh, I'm sure he does something similar. So I guess we will find out. Well, you were right, another being's doing a hatch first, that's a hatch first on 15, while uh, Carl Gustav has done gas first, followed by a spawning pool. So with a gas first into spawning pool, usually it means uh, ling speed aggression, and of course with a hatch first, and then let's see, then he's done gas second. So it looks like he's also going to be going for ling speed to protect that natural. Looks like it's, uh, he's going to be a bit slower on it, but uh, still be able to get it up in time. I like this uh, this sort of matchup, especially for this as well, because when one chooses too fast expand, the other chooses to go speed links, uh, it becomes a sort of a race. And uh, if the person that's taken out this taken up the speed link build uh, can't actually do enough damage or stall them enough, then uh, they're they're just so far behind in the economy. Well, we're going to find out what happens. We've got uh, Carl Gustav doing the metabolic boost straight up. So yeah, and he's pulled all drones off to gas. So it looks like it might be a, a ling, or ling speed aggression all in. Is it uh, mineral heavy at the moment? Yeah, possibly. Well, six Ooh. lings are already out. And what's that? That's going to be a drone. And ooh, roach. Nice. Possibly a transition here. It and is. we also have uh, metabolic boost going down for another beam. So he'll probably be using that just to protect the natural. Get a bit of map control as well. Um, as you can see, they're putting it down a spine crawler just for a bit of protection in the backside of the minerals. Uh, he did scout the uh, natural expansion just going down for Carl Gustav, but he knows that those slings are on the way and he needs a bit of defense there. Maybe this link's going to go to work. Not too bad. 6 v 6. 6 vs 8, eight. now. So That's ten. pretty good. So there we go, another bean uh, getting head in the uh, unit count there. Just able to hold it off. Uh, didn't get much of a sight of the uh, main base. Didn't actually walk in there, so he doesn't know exactly what's going on uh, tech-wise. But he knows that he has that expansion down and uh, will be fully mining very soon. Surprised he hasn't transferred any drones yet. Hmm, yes. Uh, obviously feeling very defensive, but he has gone for Baneling Nest, uh, because, uh, as I said, the Zergling versus Baneling was the original uh, Zerg versus Zerg play. So um, both players would get Zerglings, and whoever could control the Banelings best would win. But Still pretty with, good. Uh, with Kalgus of going possibly into Heavy Roach, uh, it's the perfect um, bluff, saying, look, lings, and then uh, turning his army into lots of roaches, which he has done. He's got uh, four roaches on the way, with two already here. And uh, interesting to see that he didn't actually choose to send any banelings in there. He just chose to send those uh, zerglings in straight off. I think he's going to make two or three here now. But, uh, he's he's completely, completely offensive with these banelings. Uh, he finds out that there are too many roaches and he's going to have to pull back all his lings all the way back to his base. 
just going to say something that I absolutely love about Zerg vs Zerg, especially on a small map like this, is uh, the overlords. They, Husky, comment on it so many times, just the, the blimps floating around, uh, just giving sight to everything. And it's so funny because they can't do anything and they can't attack each other. They can just stare each other down and, you know, try and give each other evil death stares. But uh, that's about the extent of what they're used for. Yeah, so true. I find on especially very small maps like, say, uh, Zilnaga Caverns, which is, you know, an obvious one, but there's one map, uh, often I'll line up my overlords in a straight line from my base to the opposing player's base up until around the nine minute mark, because until that point, the only thing you can attack them is the queen. So yeah. Until the other player gets some Hydralis or a Spire. So it's yeah, they don't want to be pulling line out. Of side. And we've got some lair tech going down for Carl Gustav. Still no lair tech on another bean. And the unit no. count wise, Carl Gustav has more, but it could just be because it's all the roaches. Yes, yeah, it's still just the roaches causing that. Just uh, see another bean there getting a few roaches out for himself. Uh, roach v roach. Probably the best counter, especially with the banelings in the backside. So. Uh, the banelings to take the roaches down to half health and then the, ro the other roaches to finish them all. So it's going to be a push out here from Carl Gustav with 14 roaches. Back at home base he's only got 21 drones to 36 drones of another beam. So another beam's definitely going to have a lot more economy if he can hold off this roach aggression here. Comes a bit of a push here with these roaches. Something I've noticed now. Uh, Another being just dragged his natural natu expansion queen up to his main. I'm not sure why he did that. Might have been a misclick, but uh, fix that. Anyways, not too much trouble. This overlord's going to spot these roaches coming in from the top side. And, uh, this spine crawl is not going to go down in time. Maybe you'll focus fire it down. No, it's just protecting that spine crawl. So get in, and uh, he's pretty safe from now does have a stream of zerglings and a few roaches coming in at the backside there. It's basically doing a little bit of a roachling all in here. Does, still doesn't have any mining going at his uh, natural expansion card list stuff. So uh, if, he, if this uh, attack isn't successful or he doesn't do much with this attack, then uh, it's going to be putting really far behind. There's a couple of banelings going back into Carl Gustav's base. Oh, you do see that. Looks like he's going to hit the mineral line and get a few drones there. Wow, he does get six. Wow, six. he does, definitely. Six going down. Uh, they're just doing a little back forth, uh, dancing up front. Still, things coming in, moving back. Fairly even on the road count. That spine core goes down. Didn't lose me. Bring those uh, few drones forward just to take the brunt of those roach. A little spitting, I guess you could call it. But... Uh, Looks like he's able to hold it off for now. He's got a ton more roach. roaches just backed him up, but uh, Carl Gustav really in trouble now. He doesn't have that many um, drones at all that's compared. Uh, definitely on a unit counting station, 93 to 64. That's a big difference. 30 units. And yeah, it's, it's plus pretty much turned around. Just finished for uh, another beam. So wow, look at him go. He's he's feeling happy. It's going to be a bit of a timing push here. Yeah, he knows that. Uh, well, he would have seen that there aren't any, there weren't any drones at the natural expansion, so he knows that he wasn't mining from that, and he won't have as much minerals. Uh, so he's, he figures now this is the best time to push because uh, Carl Gustav will be putting all uh, most of his lava into his economy uh, to after losing six drones, especially I think it was eight drones actually. It was eight drones. Uh, we see thirteen roaches to twenty-five roaches. Uh, double of course pretty much but uh, this it isn't going to be a very uh, fair battle it's going to be pretty one-sided especially with the concave that another bean has on these roaches of kind of stuff it's just absolutely going to destroy it and uh, I don't think from here on yeah we're going to see a good game yep so GG yeah so another bean with his plus one and uh, keeping up that economy uh, he counted in the end he had lots of roaches to pop out and he, yeah, played really well. So that was the first game in Carl Gustav versus Another Bean.
congratulations to another being for taking that and we'll get see you guys in the second game. This has been Darkstar and, and Timid Route.